poll today are Americans. Can you raise your hand? So, so, so we're all American here. We're, we're, we're all American. And, and one of the things, you know, this is a panel on Islamophobia and protecting our rights and, and, and our religion. And one of the things is that, you know, I, I had the, uh, uh, the privilege of, of being at Nahed's uh, annual banquet uh, earlier, earlier this year in D.C., and, uh, and I had the privilege of listening to, uh, uh, to a very eloquent man by the name of Tariq Ramadan, and he had said some things that are still resonating uh, within me, and, and a couple of them were that as Muslims, we have to learn how to speak the language of our country, and that we have to have a love and a loyalty to our country. And this is our country. Um, and, and we can't take it for granted, we can't, we, we have to love this country as much as we have to love where we originated from, if not more. And in speaking the language of this country, what we, or what, what I've experienced and what I've seen, and I've never seen this before, living in New York where, where we are a minority and, and uh, as a Muslim American, but what I experienced is racism and bigotry. And, 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 and what I saw was something that many different, many different societies and immigrant societies went through, and we're drinking from that cup. And we have to assimilate, and we have to, we have to become more proactive. We have to, we, we have to start planning better. And, and this is an opportunity to start meeting like-minded people and seeing the organizations that are at the forefront in planning and, and implementing the, 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 the future of our rights as Muslims, as Americans in this country. You know, I am a businessman and I worked in Lower Manhattan for the last 10 years and I realized the urgent need of a prayer space in Lower Manhattan. And my partners and I at Soho Properties, I, I, I have a commercial real estate investment firm, wanted to give back to our community through, through our resources and our experience in providing first a mezgid, a, a place where, where we would have a facility you know the the uh, 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 you know, and, and I have to be honest. A lot of our um, a lot of our masagid today, the ones that I've seen in in in, in New York and and in, in 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 my neighborhoods, I'm disappointed because it almost seems like I walk into a third world country, and it's not the environment. My wife is a convert to Islam. It's not the environment where you feel that you could take somebody by the hand and say, "I want to share with you my religion." And so that was the mission that we embarked on, is that we wanted to build a masjid that was really representative of the excellence that we are taught, of the excellence that we read about. You know, what was the last great thing that we did? Algebra? You know, it's, it's been such a long time since we as Muslims have really decided to go and give back to our societies as opposed to consuming what is given to us. And that's really how this project started. There was, a, 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 inshallah, a sincere intention of building a masjid and building a place where you could start grabbing your co-workers who are non-Muslim to start seeing who we are, that we're not alien, that, that, that we believe in all the prophets from Adam to, 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 to Moses to Jesus, you know, that, that we don't discriminate among the prophets and that in order to be a Muslim, you have to you have, to have these beliefs and and, and there is such a, 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 a such a, 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 a loss that we had after 9/11 in 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 really our our religion and our identity was hijacked from us. Um, so I found, so we found this building in Lower Manhattan in Park Place in about 2005. And, and God, I could probably write a book on how. Uh, sophisticated and hard of a transaction it was, little did I know what I had in store for me in respect to the next phase of this project. And the idea was very simple, is that we wanted to build a masjid and that we, to, to, to one, uh, serve the, the Muslim community that is, is, is huge. I mean, several thousand people are praying in Lower Manhattan and the facilities, people are praying on the streets, in stairwells, 
and the facilities were not commensurate with the, with, with, with the number of people that were praying. So, so that was the original intention, and we bought this parcel of real estate, and we saw that we have an interesting opportunity here because this was going to be big enough where we could do something more than just building a masjid, but we could also build really an Islamic community center that would be ours, that would be a place where we could give back to society based on the foundation of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, and going back and looking and sharing with people a venue, a place where it's excellent. Just like we're in an excellent venue here, we wanted to be able to provide a venue that we owned, and inshallah, in five or six years from now, we'll be able to host one of these venues at Park 51, inshallah. And, and, and the purpose of that is that we wanted to go back, and, and we saw an opportunity, you know, the, 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 the real estate market was flat, and what we did is we went out and we met with all the local elected officials. I mean, we literally, we, we bought the buildings in July of last year, and the first person that we met with was, was, was Congressman Anthony Weiner, we, who gave us the, uh, you know, Congressman Anthony is, uh, 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 is a Zionist, he's, uh, uh, he's a very active congressman in Lower Manhattan, and we met with him, and we met with uh, Michael Bloomberg, Borough President Scott Stringer, uh, uh, with, with Christy Quinn, uh, uh, with, with Jerry Nadler, with Daniel Squadron. We, we met with all of the elected officials in Lower Manhattan prior to us really formally announcing the plans because that was part of the planning. And again, Fadl Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alina, you know, I, I, I don't take any credit for what we've done so far. And Fadl Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alina that there was specific steps that were taken in this project because we built this we, we used what was available to us, and that also in combating and in understanding Islamophobia and racism and bigotry, because that at the end of the day is what it is, that's, that's how I look at it, um, um, uh, is that we went and we used the resources in front of us when we wanted to do a community project, and we met with the local elected officials. And that's a responsibility that each and every one of you in this hall today has. Go out and find out who your local elected officials are. We have an opportunity to control our destiny as Americans. We elect these people. We're taxpayers. Every paycheck that you get or every dollar that you earn, you're paying a tax on it. And this country was founded on, on, uh, uh, on, on no taxation without representation. Are you being represented? Are you being represented in your local districts, in your cities, in your counties, in your states? And you, need, and you have a responsibility to go out there and find out who these individuals are that are serving you because that is what makes this the greatest country in the world is that our politicians serve us, but we have to know how to work the system. And that's what we did when we started implementing this project is we took advantage of our politicians and we met with them. We met with them and we shared with them what our project was about. And subhanAllah, every single elected official in Lower Manhattan unanimously supported and was excited about this project, okay? And said that this is a good thing for New York. This is a good thing for New York. And, it, and, and repeatedly, in all the meetings that we went through. Now, what was really surprising at that point is that, um, uh, uh, you know, is that we decided then to voluntarily, once we met with all the local elected officials, is we went in and we, we started going voluntarily to the community board, okay? And that's really when this whole, this whole uh, uh, misperception and misinformation erupted. And I saw, for the first time in my life, I saw Islamophobia, I saw racism, I saw bigotry, I saw something very evil. And it wasn't, it was just pure evil uh, of, of, of looking, uh, and it was based on fear. It was based on fear and it was based on ignorance. And I realized at that point that we are not doing our part as Muslims. I held myself responsible. 
I held myself first and foremost responsible 